All right, we're back. Train most of the squad to level 39. Level 39, I thought that was a good level. I didn't train Snorlax and Jolteon because I'd be using them in the gym most, most likely. So I still got that. Well, I didn't train the level 39. I got the level 38 because I was going to use them in the gym most. But for now, we're covering the, oh my lord. We're covering the battle, uh, the fighting dojo. I don't think these are double battles. They better not be. And we got the first guy here. I probably could have done this off screen, to be honest. I don't know why I'm covering this. I mean, it, it's whatever. He actually had the matchup. I thought he'd have uh, a bit. Like, I thought he'd have him on Chan, to be completely honest. I accidentally clicked double kick. Great. And that doesn't even two hit. At least T Bolt's definitely going to kill now, even though. Ooh, vital throw. Hate that move. That move is scary. If you ever battled uh, the second gym leader in Hoenn. He's got like the that yeah, fine gym. He's got Vital Throw Makuhita, and that thing hits like a truck. Like with the Vital Throw, dude. That that's just pow it's just power. It is just power. Yeah, there's Jolteon at level 39 now. Can't really train Snorlax in here, but like I said, he's gonna get like a bunch of EXP in the gym because he can take on psychics pretty well. It's high spadef. You already know how that goes. Alright, so this guy's got him a choke. I'm just gonna aerial ace. And Pidgeot's probably going to get to level 40. And I'll probably use him quite a bit in the gym as well. Most fighting, I mean, psychics, so oh, this is going to hurt, isn't it? But yeah, that does quite a bit. Most, uh, flying types, or no, what's the type? The gym is psychic. Alright, most psychic types um, have pretty good power, too. With the, um, combination of, or, I mean, they're, they're, they don't have that good of a defense. And they're pretty fast, so I can like, quick attack on them a lot. I can take one hit from them and hit them with aerial ace, quick attack combo, maybe even fly. I can just straight up one shot. I don't know. Uh, I have items. I have potions now. It's only I didn't. I, I don't know where they are. All right. I could probably get some just super potions up in here. Just so I'm not hyper potioning every match. Hyper potions. Oh, there's a lot of HP, dude. A lot of HP. Probably didn't even have to use one there. As we still got five, or, uh, how many trans are Three, or, you know, we got four more left. This guy and three others. Forgot to count for a second. But this guy's got his own matchup. We probably have him a champ thrown on the back of his squad. And we're we gonna not, uh, thunder, or double kick this time. As, yeah. I, as you guys saw, if you saw the Jolteon episode 18.75, I took the time to teach this thing Thunderbolt, or I took the time to get the TM for Thunderbolt. Which really wasn't that hard. Thought I'd ha uh, end up being stuck having to do the finding dojo, not the finding dojo, the game corner. But you can literally buy coins from the game corner. And I bought 4,000 coins. Took like almost all of my money from just from that. But it was worth it because Jolteon has a reliable move. Probably would have had Shockwave, but I ended up teaching it to Lapras before I even got the Jolteon or the Eevee. Yeah, it would probably have Shockwave. But I mean, this is still definitely better than nothing. I'm gonna go to my own primate to fight the primate. Because it seems like a good idea because he won't have... Oh, he'll probably have a cross shot and... Why did I just completely slow down? What did I click to do that? Okay, it's back to normal speed now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Fury swipe, slow animation. But I mean, it could be worse. It could be the Gen 4 Fury Swipes animation. That crap never ends. And it's gonna get two crits. Two crits. And five hits with two crits. And the two crits were back to back. These lucky players, man. I can't beat these lucky, these lucky, bad, doo doo players. Just can't beat them. Not even in game. You can't escape from the, the, from the badness. You just can't. They will, they, they will kill you to your death with bullcrap. So yeah, this is a psychic type gym, right? Okay, yeah, definitely. You, if you read, uh, post, oh wait, does it say, uh, okay, because I remember some gyms and some games, like, your rival will beat the gym before you get to it, and they'll say, like, honorable trainers or notable trainers or something, and it'll have your rival's name there. Yeah, I wanted to see if that was the thing. Just realizing now that not a lot of my, not a lot of on my team can do that much to fighting type. 
Like Venusaur can take them on, but it can't one shot them. Uh, Snorlax just gets out speed, pen KO'd. If Jolteon can't one shot them, it gets clapped. If Primeape can't one shot them, it gets clapped. Lapras gets clapped, and then Pidgeot does pretty good, but it has a hard time switching into them consistently. Also, have cut on Venusaur, I'll probably take that off. But I mean, like, I didn't need tackle at all. So, I mean, it was kind of worth it for that instance. Or just for that. And, uh, can I double battle them? No, I can't. Alright, this guy shadows boulders for training every day. Every day. But, uh, not bad. Not bad. He's got a primate, too. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna raise a leaf. Oh, no, I missed the Razor Leaf. I've actually, this is the first time Razor Leaf has missed this episode, okay? He didn't, or not this episode, this entire walkthrough, actually. And, uh, yeah. Have you ever played a game that, you, like, you just don't know anything about the game? Because you, you just don't play it? Or you just haven't beaten it? That's me with this game. I, I have gone pretty decently far. Like, the farthest I've gotten in this game, to be honest with you, is seven badges. And we have four badges, so we're over half of that. So we're looking pretty nice. My team is definitely a lot stronger now than it was back then. If I had to say so myself. I'm just going to cut because I don't really care. Alright, that's definitely dead. Thank you. And I imagine this next leg is going to have Machamp. So I'm going to go into Pidgeot and use Fly. Oh, no, he's just going to battle me instantly because instead of double battling... They're not going to give me the chance to fight him, and this is going to happen. And, uh, oh, this guy actually isn't wearing uh, shoes. I was going to, like, you're going to tell me to, tell my, to take my, to take my shoes off, and you ain't even wearing shoes? Bull crap. Bull crap. That is bull crap, sir. But I'm still going to get this young Giga Drain. Heal off my HP instead of having to waste a potion to do so, even though it wouldn't really be wasting it. And, yeah, that gets a pretty nice amount of HP back from that. And, uh, yeah. Okay, that's not gonna level up yet. And he, he's got another Mankey, which means I can Giga Drain and get even more HP back. And if Venusaur levels up here, it's not really a problem, because Venusaur is not gonna really get much experience in a, in a Psychic Gym. Because, you know, Psychic beats Poison. Alright. Misses, but I mean, I miss my razor leaf, so I don't care. Was it even this battle? I probably not, actually. He's gonna go into Prime, so I'll just. I'll just go Prime to fight it, because, like I said, Pidgeot's gonna do quite a bit in the gym. And Prime won't get much EXP, so I'll give it EXP now. That seems like a good plan. I mean, I made it, so it's probably pretty great. And, uh, yeah. Oh, it actually lived. Alright, it was gonna fairy swipe this again. It's happened last time, right? Yeah, he got two crits and five hits, and I think, and it's looking like he's gonna get another five hit, Noki. Okay. He only got three hits, but, uh, still, nice crit, son. Nice crit indeed. And this guy's not gonna battle me, but those other two. Okay, no, I probably wanted to. Alright. That was a mistake on my part. What I wanted to do was uh, walk up so, to him, save, and then battle. But I mean, now I'm just, just gonna get right into the battle. Oh, level 37 him only. So glad I trained up my squad. Because Pidgeot can come in here. I'll probably take a heavy hit, but I'm gonna outspeed it. And uh, what's the move called? I believe it is called. It might blaze him only. Blaze kick sucks this gen. Oh my lord, this is gonna hurt. Okay, that actually didn't do as much as I expected. I thought it would at least two shot. Alright, that does like looks like it's gonna be it would look like it'd be really close to two shot. I don't know if it actually would though. As uh, we're gonna get level 40 on both this and Pidgeot, which is pretty dope. Or should I have sent both this and Venusaur? Either way, he's got him on Chan next. So just if you stay with your Pidgeot, it's pretty much uh, win. I mean, Hemonchan's defenses are 
notably better than Hitmonlee's. So, it still doesn't live though, because Pidgeot is a powerhouse. Not really. It's just powerful enough to KO both of them. Like, if you can KO, uh. You can KO, uh. Like, I can get both of them? Uh, I hope so. So I'm gonna save and attempt. I'm gonna save and try to steal them both. Well, not steal, but like put them in the PC box. You know, I'm not gonna use them because I already have my own fighting type. But it'll be pretty dope additions to the squad. Oh, I can get both of them. Oh, never mind. Better not get greedy. Damn. That would have been cool though. To be completely honest with you. And how much time we at? We are at, uh, that doesn't help me check the time this does, and we at uh, 10 minutes, so that's looking pretty nice. I'm gonna go actually go heal, and then I'll catch you at the gym, so, uh, yeah, go heal, and then I'll, I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon, and I'll catch you at the gym. Okay. So, uh, when you're back from healing... Go to one of the worst gym puzzles ever, which is going to be, of course, a warping one, teleport. I hate this place, just because of the puzzle. Like, you have to be on point with everything, and it usually just turns into a guessing game. Just like the friggin', I'm not going to reach the gym leader easily, not because of y'all in the way. I'm going to reach the gym, it's not going to, well... I'm not going to reach the leader easily because y'all are in the way. I'm gonna, not going to reach the leader easily because, oh, I could actually stay in Phoenix. But Storax getting EXP and leveling up is pretty important as well. So, yeah. Gym leader being strong, I mean, the trainers being strong in the gym aren't, isn't going to gonna be the reason I'll reach the, isn't going to be the reason for me not reaching the gym leader. It's going to be because y'all are going to have these, stu are going to have the nerve to put this, to set up this kind of gym puzzle. Like, honestly, dude, who, who, like, and if, you can't even believe you have to stock up on, like, ethers and whatnot, because if you get stuck in this puzzle, you're pretty much screwed, because you, like, if you go to the, get to the leader, and then go back to heal, that's the last thing you want to do, because, because that, that basically, like, okay, so if you go buy, you want, you might want to, like, stock up on, like I keep saying, you're going to want to stock up on ethers, because, all right, all right, yeah, because they don't like if you run at a low on PP and you can't find your way out of the gym. You actually do. You're just gonna have to find your way back to the leader again. So, uh, yeah. Oh, Chill's gonna be really useful in some of these fights because, like I said, most. Psychic type Pokemon, with the exception of like Slowbro, are pretty fast. So I can like Thunder Wave them and whatnot. But I think I'll cover this next episode. I'm gonna go buy items and I'll see you for the 20th episode. Bye bye.